Nisha and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be my first impressions on most of the Sultanical products that I picked up during Black Friday that y'all saw in my Black Friday haul, which I will link that video above just in case you want to check that out. But first, before we get into the video, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week, usually Wednesday and Saturday. So if you're subscribed, you done hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get into this first impression. Okay, y'all, so I've already gone ahead and wet my hair because we're going to start off with cleansing and the product I'll be using is the Shade Ayurvedic Butter Shampoo. Sorry, y'all, my lights are bright. But I've heard nothing but good things about this, especially from Quinn Ray. Y'all know I love me some Quinn Ray. And she talks nothing but good things about this. And it has things like Brahmi, Alma, Shikakai. It does contain shea butter and aloe vera juice, which are actually within the top four ingredients. It also contains vegetable glycerin, but that's lower on in the list of ingredients. Plus, this is something that you rinse out, so it may not have too much an effect on your hair as far as the glycerin goes. It says that it's a soft, foamy, luxurious product, conditioning, cleansing, slippery, having detangling with ease, wash day experience. So I hope that that is the case because I normally pre-poo, and I did not pre-poo today because I just don't have time. I don't have the energy, so hopefully I can detangle my hair with this. It smells very earthy. This is what the product looks like. It has a nice coloring to it. Okay, it's pretty thick. It's not going anywhere. Let's just go ahead with this first section. Okay, when you rub it into your hands, it does kind of becomes a little bit more lightweight feeling. All right, so far so good. It feels very moisturizing on my hair. Gonna split this up because I'm gonna apply it to the length of my hair just to see if it really does detangle or not. Okay, it's got some slip to it. I'm able to detangle. I'm working with an old wash and go as well, just to let you know. And my hair definitely gets tangled up with wash and goes. So this is actually allowing me to finger detangle my hair pretty well. Okay. It claims that it lathers up a little bit or that it's foamy. Let's see what it says exactly. Yeah, that it's foamy and I'm not getting foam. <laughs> which is fine, I don't necessarily need to have it, but that's not what I'm getting right now. Um, maybe when I get into the shower. Oh no, I don't feel no foam or froth going on. Okay, also, so far the butter shampoo feels pretty good. It has slip, like I mentioned, so I'm able to detangle my hair with it. I feel like my hair is moisturized. I don't feel like it's stripping the moisture out of my hair at all. I'm curious to see how it's gonna feel like once I rinse it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the rest of this shampoo, um, butter shampoo while I'm in the shower and then rinse it out and then come back and let y'all know how my hair feels. Okay y'all, so I rinse the butter or the Shea Ayurvedic butter shampoo out of my head. And this is what my hair is looking like. You can see my curls are already defined. My hair feels soft. It feels moisturized. Y'all, this rinsing out of my hair felt so good. I was a little apprehensive because it felt good going on my hair, but it definitely feels better rinsed out. Like my hair feels so soft. Really, really do like this product. The only thing is I use a lot of this. <laughs> and it may be because I didn't pre-poo and so I kind of use this to help detangle my hair. So I use more product than maybe I normally would if I would have already pre-pooed and was just applying this to 
strictly just cleanse my scalp. So next we're gonna move on to deep conditioning and I'm actually gonna try out two deep conditioners. I purchased three deep conditioners from them actually. The Ayurvedic, the, the fenugreek one, I already used that one in a chit chat deep condition with me. So I have that video linked above if you wanna check that out and hear my thoughts on that deep conditioner. But for today, we're gonna to be using two of them. So we're gonna use on my right side is the Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask, which looks like this. Hmm, this has an interesting smell. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> um, Let's see, as far as ingredients goes, this of course has hibiscus leaves and the products that typically y'all um, want to look out for are, it does have aloe vera juice, it does have vegetable glycerin, and that's it. So I don't see any coconut oil. I don't see any shea butter, nor do I see any protein in here either. This claims to help treat dry scalp and brittle hair. So although I don't directly see um, protein or any keratin written on here, I'm guessing one of the clays or Ayurvedic um, ingredients in here does contain protein because it says it also contains plenty of amino acids which um, add much needed strength and elasticity to the hair. And amino acids are the building blocks of protein. So I expect it to moisturize my hair, help with any scalp issues if you do have them, but I don't, and also strengthen my hair a little bit as well. So then on this side, um, I'm gonna using, going to be using the Chebe Ginger Super Deep Conditioner, which looks like this. As far as the ingredients go, it has the chebe powder, has ginger powder, has vinaigrette powder, okay, omelet powder. Alrighty then, so I actually don't see any shea butter, I don't see any direct protein unless one of these powders has protein in it. I don't see coconut oil, I don't see glycerin in here either, and I don't see aloe vera juice. It says excellent for healthy hair and growth, growth and length retention, um, pH balance, it cleanses the scalp, moisturizes, and nourishes the hair follicle to grow long strands. So it's pretty thick, it's not going anywhere. Again, this is the Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask. Yeah, I don't like the smell. <laughs> Even though it's thick in the bottle, when you rub into your hands, it actually thins out it has tons of slip. It feels super moisturizing on my hair. It feels super good. Oh my goodness. I feel like it's melting to my strands. It is. This feels so good, y'all. I'm shocked. I think the, the smell kind of threw me off. So I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, but this feels so good. Tons of slip. It actually has more slip in my opinion than the um, butter shampoo. So far, this feels absolutely amazing, amazing to my hair. So I'm just going to continue to apply it to this right section, your left. Y'all, if this rinses out and makes my hair, hair feel the way that it feels right now, like it's a winner, but we'll see. So next is the Chebe Ginger Super Soup. I want to say super duper, super deep <laughs> conditioner. And this one is also pretty thick as well. It's not going anywhere. This is what it looks like. Okay, this one is another one where it's more lightweight when you rub into your hands. And there's also these beads in here as well. It's like beads of something, I'm not quite sure. All right, going on, this one is definitely a little bit thicker. And to me, it doesn't have as much slip. Like that hibiscus has tons of slip. This one has okay slip, about the same amount as the butter shampoo but it does feel pretty moisturizing into my hair. All right, y'all, so, so far so good. It does feel really good on my hair. Like I said, it doesn't have as much slip as the hibiscus, but I'm gonna continue to apply this throughout my hair and then I will 
put on my hot head, let it sit for maybe like an hour or so, rinse it out, and then I'll come back and let y'all know my final thoughts on these deep conditions. I have officially deep conditioned for about an hour and rinsed out both sides of my hair. And y'all, rinsing my hair out, my hair felt so freaking moisturized and so soft, so soft. And as you can see, my curls are super defined. This is the Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp um, Treatment. And then I have the, the Chebe Ginger Super Deep Conditioner on this side. And y'all, they both feel so amazing on my hair. I will say that the Hibiscus Deep Conditioner feels slightly, just a little, just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. I feel like my hair is a little bit more defined. Like my curls are more defined on this side than this side. I don't know, it could just be me. But anyways, what we're going to do next is get into the Mango Dip Detangling Slip. I actually didn't buy any other stylers. I don't know what I was thinking from Sultanicals. So I'm actually just going to use this alone because it says that you can use it as a leave-in, a rinse-out conditioner, or a moisturizer. So I'm hoping that this will have enough moisture for me. And then I'm just going to pair it with a gel, which is the Cheers Gelato and do a twist out and I'm also going to add a little bit of oil because really when I do my hair I do a leave-in a cream and then maybe a gel depending on what style I'm doing or the look that I'm going for but I always do leave-in and cream majority of the time because I want my hair to be moisturized so I kind of want to give this a fair chance, but I don't want to pair it with something else because I really want to see how the moisture holds. Okay, so as far as ingredients go, it has really great ingredients like still water, um, botanically infused with the nettle. It has horsetail, chamomile flowers, um, mango extract, mango butter, different things like that. But as far as the usual um, ingredients that I mention for y'all to look out for. It definitely has certified organic aloe juice and that's kind of higher up in the list of ingredients. And it also has vegetable glycerin, which I would say is more towards the middle or more towards the bottom. I do not see any shea butter. I don't see any coconut oil and I don't see any protein specifically outright. This is what it looks like, nice and creamy and runny as well. So let's just go ahead and start with this back section. Ooh, ooh, I, y'all already know this is gonna have a lot of slip. I can already tell. Oh my goodness, it has so much slip. It's super lightweight, so lightweight. Like it's not thick at all. It feels so good. It has tons of slip. I I like this. Okay, I was not expecting this at all. Okay y'all, so now that I've applied the Mango Dip Detangling Slip to all of my hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my gel, twist up my hair. I let y'all, you know, jam out to a little bit of music while I complete these twists and then we'll come back. It's actually been a few days <laughs> since I hopped on camera, um, so you can tell that I've already taken my hair out. Today's actually Friday, so I did my whole wash day with Sultanicals on Monday. Um, my twists were not dry, so I left my twists in on Tuesday, took down my twists on Wednesday, and now today is Friday. And I kind of wanted to do that because I actually had time to do it as far as letting y'all see when, what my hair looks like later on in the week because typically with editing and stuff, I just don't have time to show you what my hair looks like in, 
later on in the week, but this week I do. So today is Friday. Today is, I guess, day three since I took my twist down, but it's been like five days since I actually did my hair. And this is what my twist out is looking like. I've worked out. I have not retwisted. I literally just put my bonnet on or my slap cap on and go to bed or go work out and just go about my business. So I just wanted to show you what my hair looks like. I think it still looks really good. It's definitely got more voluminous, but I think it looks good. Yeah, so this is not day one hair. I'll actually insert a clip of what my hair looked like on day one just so y'all can have like um, something to compare this to. Oh, by the way, this is from my Proud Apparel. It is for the culture t-shirt for Black History Month. Okay, anyways, let's really get back into my final thoughts on these products. Okay, so first is the Shea Ayurvedic Butter Shampoo. Now, I use a lot of this stuff. I use about half of the jar. So that's kind of a bummer because this would literally last me two and a half uses. Uh, it didn't have as much slip as I expected it to when I first applied it to my hair. Even when I got back into the shower and had my hair soaking wet and applied it, it had a little bit more slip but not as much slip as I expected. But I will say when I rinsed out my hair, it felt so good. It felt so moisturized. It felt so clean. I really do like this product. It just, the slip part is what I'm missing. The slip is what I'm missing. I wish I had more slip so that I could just go in and I don't have to pre-poo. I can just go in and use this to detangle. But I, I just had some issues detangling with, with this. But like I said, once I rinsed it out, my hair felt so moisturized and so good. Had my little curls popping already before I applied deep conditioner. All right, next up are the two deep conditioners I use. Okay, so first I use the Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask. Y'all, this deep conditioner is magical. The slip on this is crazy, crazy. And it just melted into my hair, y'all. My hair applying it had, it felt like it was so moisturized. I was able to tangle my hair with this. And then when I rinsed it out, my hair felt even more moisturized and more soft. This, this is a banger. This is a banger. I'm excited to continue to use it. A little bit does go a long way. Even though I only used it on half of my head, I still have tons of product left. Um, and I think because it has so much slip, you're able to distribute it throughout your hair very evenly. Pick this up is absolutely amazing. I love it, love it, love it. It is almost holy grail status, but I gotta keep using it in order to 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 make that claim but i really do like this all right next is the chebe ginger super deep conditioner which looks like this now this had some slip but it didn't have as much slip as the hibiscus deep conditioner it's a little bit thicker as well and i think because it doesn't have as much slip or i think because it is thicker that's why it doesn't have as much slip it smells amazing it smells like Thanksgiving to me. It smells like fall in a bottle. It smells really good. Same thing, even though I only used it on half of my head, I still have so much product left, so a little bit goes a long way. When I rinsed this out, it didn't feel as moisturized or as good as the Hibiscus Deep Conditioner, but it still felt really good. It felt really good, but if I'm gonna compare it to the Hibiscus, it didn't feel as good. But if I were to just try this alone, I probably still would be wowed by how moisturized and how soft my hair feels. My only gripe with this is that there's these little, like, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's like these little black seeds or whatever. They get stuck in your hair. They absolutely get stuck in your hair. If you don't rinse your hair really, really, really good, which I still feel like I rinse my hair really good, it gets stuck in your hair. So as I was applying my products to style my hair, I, I found the little like specks, the little pieces like stuck in my hair as I was twisting and I had to pull it out. 
and that was super annoying it was very annoying i don't know um if y'all any of y'all who have tried this uh chebe ginger super deep conditioner out if y'all experience the same thing so next is the mango dip detangling slip and y'all this has so much slip like the name fits it perfectly it is super lightweight it's probably one of the most lightweight leave-ins that i've used in a really really long time it smells amazing it adds tons of moisture to my hair i'm excited to pair this with like a cream and maybe an oil and do a little lc or lco method to my hair because this had really good moisture the only time that i use a leave-in alone is when i'm doing a review for YouTube and maybe I didn't pick up the styler. For a leave-in, it does have moisture. Like right now, my hair, my hair is starting to feel dry. I paired this, by the way, with the Cheers Gelato, just in case you missed that. But I paired it with the Cheers Gelato and it is starting to feel a little bit dry. But I would say for like three or four days, like I really had lots of moisture in my hair for a leave-in. But all in all, I really enjoyed my experience with Sultanicals products. Um, I feel like Sultanicals has so many products um, that I want to try. So I'm excited to get my hands on more of their products. But yeah, y'all, so that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, drop me down below some of your favorite Sultanicals products. That way I can pick those up later on and try those out. Then make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!